again, so today I'm going to be filming a video on kind of like a haul. Like, some of this stuff is seriously really old, and I don't know why I didn't film this video before, but it's probably because I just kind of got some of this stuff, because some of it's from Easter, and I didn't go to my grandparents' house until just last weekend, and because I was at my other grandparents' house, and so I didn't get my stuff from them. And I ordered stuff online for, for Easter, and I didn't get it till today, so that's why I'm kind of doing this really late, and I kind of have random stuff in here, like, if I got something from Easter to now, then I just, like, put it in here, because, like, I obviously bought it, so it'd be a part of the haul. And I'm just going to call this, like, random haul, because that's kind of what it is. So, yeah, so the first thing is, my dog, I didn't get this from Easter now, but she just kind of want to say hello. Can I get your name play? And she just eats. I'll show you her name tag, but she eats it. Yeah, she had a really cute one. Now it's blue, but it used to be pink with diamonds around it. And kind of cost a lot of money, but we thought that she would like it. But she ate it. So yeah. Alright, I'm going to put her on the bed and she's probably going to bark a little bit, but it'll be okay. Alrighty, so, let's start randomly. Okay, first thing I see, my wall thing, I'm going to get dead. Um, I think I got this from Bath and Body Works, um, I'm pretty sure. And before I had Sweet Pea in here, and he used it up, and I was like, Mom, I need a new one. Like, I needed a new one for like a really long time, and, and I just like forget to ask, or they forget to buy me something. So, um, I never know, but they went shopping, and they remembered to pick me up one. And they got me um, Mango Tango. So if any of you guys go to Bath & Body Works, get Mango Tango. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. But, oh my gosh. I'm not kidding you. My room didn't smell horrible, but it's just that, like, after I put this in here, and I think it's so cute with, like, the little wall thing, um, but after I came in here, after I put this in, oh my gosh, this is so strong, but, like, in such a good way, I came in here, and I was literally like, oh my gosh, like, what is that amazing smell? And I was like, oh yeah, it's this mango tango thing, so... Get mango tango. It smells so good. Alright, next thing. Have <laughs> you seen my dog trying to find her perfect spot? Any day now. <laughs> Alright, so next I got these nail polish things. And it's um so it's just nail polish from River Pad. And th I think this one's my sister's, but this one's mine. But I just saw it, so I thought I'd show you guys together. Um, I think she got them at Pure One. My aunt works at Pure One. So, you know, she gets, and she works at Old Navy, so she gets most of our gifts and stuff from Old Navy and Pure One. Um, and I like both those stores, so I don't have a problem. But what they are is nail polish remover pads, and they're alcohol and acetone free. So as you can tell, like, there's no acetone or alcohol in it, which makes it, like, really good for your nails, since my nails have been really bad lately. And they also have a fragrance. So they do not smell anything like nail polish remover. I know my dad cannot smell the sand of nail polish remover, so I can never do it around him. Um, but these are amazing. Like, this one is Fruity Fragrance. And it smells delicious. Like, it's amazing. And when you touch it, it kind of feels like it's dry, but it's actually more like an olive oil eye makeup remover kind of combo. Because the only thing I don't like about these is that since it doesn't have that alcohol to really, like, dry really quickly, it's like this oil on your nails for a little bit. So I washed off. But, yeah. And then this one is... Vanilla. 
So yeah. And this one, I don't know. I think it's really cute. But it's more like a baby powder. I mean, anything better than the nail polish, but I don't know. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. It smells really fresh and really good, but it's more like a baby powder than actual vanilla. So yeah, that's those. Then, some random thing. I just got my cocoa butter. Judge Mark's thing. Because I've been getting late. I'm on a diet now. So it's not really working out because I pee for dinner. But, um, yeah. I'm not pregnant or anything. Um, it's just... It makes your skin more elastic -y and stuff, and it really does make it more soft. The only thing I don't like is it smells like chocolate, and I love eating chocolate, but I don't want it on my body. So yeah, I love this stuff. I don't really see it working very much. I don't think it's going to help my stretch marks. I think it's just going to make me not get any more. Then, I got this book, and I swear if you guys have never read this book, you need to go out and buy it. Um, I got it from Amazon, I believe, yeah, Amazon, and you can get it at Target, pretty much anywhere, it was at my library, but it was, I'm in 7th grade, and it was 8th grade only, and I was like, what is this, like, I can't read an 8th grade book, so I had my dad go out and buy it, but it's called Please Stop Laughing at Me by Jody Blanco, and it is literally the best book ever, I hate reading. Eight reading. So if I tell you a book is good, the book is pretty darn good. And it's just so good. Like town. There is not including the author's note in like random questions at the end. It's two hundred and sixty eight pages. And that seems like a lot, but I finished this in a week and there's a lot of words, but there's so many good stories in here and it's a true story about this girl that gets bullied from fifth grade all the way to the end of high school and it's just horrifying and I swear like if you read this book it will change your life like you won't want to make fun of anybody any any else and it's not like it's a good thing anyways but I mean like you know how it gets on they're, they're mean to people and but this book just makes you go I need to stop like that's not right like I know how they're feeling now, and it's amazing. Not that I need fun of people that, anyways, but it just really makes you stop and think, like, I need to help these people, because it's an amazing book. Alright, then I'll show you stuff I got at Ulta, and it, I think I did a makeup tutorial the other day, and I think I used some of these, so it's going to be like, oh, you've had that for a while, but I haven't shown it in a haul, and I feel like I should just show you guys, so, yeah. It's on the floor. So I went to Ulta and I got a couple stuff. And first, I actually I didn't buy this from Ulta. I got it for Easter, but it's from Ulta. And it's just the baby lips, and it's amazing. I have this one, and then I have another one on um, this for school. But I got the one in probably better not be eating my bed. I got the one in Peach Kiss. Peach kiss, there you go. Yeah, you can't see that, but it's in peach kiss. You'll know because it's peachy and it's purple. It's so good, like it's so smooth on your lips. It's just amazing. Like this is everything I wanted in more in baby lips, and I couldn't find it for the longest time. I went to all the drugstores, Ulta, everywhere. Nowhere had it. It's horrible. So, so glad I got those. And I got two. Yay. Anyways. Oh, yeah. And then I got a powder foundation. That's in my bag for school. So, yeah. And then I got L'Oreal Studio Secrets Magic Perfecting Base. This stuff is so amazing. I use it for my eye primer and for my face. Primer. And they don't use very much. But after I use this, I'm seriously not ever going to not use primer anymore. Not that I didn't ever on my eyes, but yeah. I got my Maybelline Cover Stick in medium beige. And I know it seems like a little bit, or like $10, but it's really good. And it lasts a long time because it's very thick. 
then I this is like one of my favorite things that it's guys and it's my dream bouncy blush and mine is this coral one in candy candy coral and it's amazing it looks so good on my skin tone because peaches look good on my skin tone in general and this color is just amazing I wear it every day and I put Sephora's Blush Me collection in Rose Rebel over it. And that's a little bit more pinky, but it's so sheer that it um, enhances this a little bit. And it's not too pigmented. It's not overly pigmented. I don't know if you can even see how I make it. I use my lips on the It's not overly pigmented, so it's really nice for like school or just anywhere that you don't want to have too much. And I love it because I love blush, but I don't want to. And then I got samples, and I got one, two, and four. And I feel like there's a third one, and I know it's the yellow one, but obviously I didn't find it. So yeah, these are amazing. And as you can tell, she's my favorite. It smells like cologne for a girl, and I love cologne. So yeah, love these. And I think I'm literally gonna go out and buy the second one. Like, I just need them all. Alright, then I got an eyelash curler, pretty boring, I break all my eyelash curlers, because I just get the dollar ones from Elle, but hey, it's a dollar, it comes with an extra one of these, and this is what I break, so I feel like I shouldn't go out and buy a new eyelash curler each time, but it's a dollar, like, it's not going to break my bag. Yeah. Okay, and then I got more sun in, because I don't dye my hair, I just use sun in, and people are always like, oh my god, your hair looks so cute, like, it's so blonde. From yesterday, I'm like, oh, yeah, I lightened it. It turns orange. Like, I have, like, lightish brownish hair. Like, I literally have, like, brown hair. And I dyed it to blonde. You know? Blonde with this stuff. And so, at first, it has a phase of orange. you got to get over that phase to turn it blonde. So, it will finally turn blonde, I promise you. All right. Then I got some bath stuff. This is also from Pure One. It's like bath, little like balls, and then bath scissors, and then bath salts. And it's pink, so it matches my room. So until I take a bath, I want to use these. If I don't ever want to use it because it just looks so darn cute. Then it's going to be here. And it looks so cute. Alright. And then I have three, three nail polishes. And they're from LA Colors, and I've never tried LA Colors nail polish. I think I've had like a concealer from LA Colors like once, I'm not sure, but I don't know. I'm just, I mean, you have to go to like the dollar store to get LA Colors. But my grandma got it for me, so I was like, hey, you know, they're they're really pretty colors. Like I'm gonna try them out. So I need to try them out, and it'll look perfect with my shirt because it's blue. I don't know if you can tell or not. So, anyways. It's this color in Jewel. I don't know where this one went, but this one is in Jewel Tone. Jewel Tone. And it's just this really, really pretty. Again, you can't see. I don't know. You can't see. You can't see. Turn. It's this really, really gorgeous color, and it is all sparkly. It looks like it's blue and pink and purple to me. Blue, pink, and purple. So that's what this is. It's so pretty, so gorgeous. You need to check it out. I hope that it works. Like, the color is so gorgeous because I'll be using it a lot. It looks like it's a pretty thick brush, too. That's pretty cool. I don't know if it's good or bad, but I need to try it out and I'll tell you guys. I'm really excited about those. And I also got this one. It's just sparkly, pinkish slash purpley. Like, all sparkly. It's a clear coat, but sparkly. Yeah, it's pretty much all one color, so that's going to be really pretty. And then this is not a matte, but it's like a blue. It's like no shimmer. But it kind of has like a metallic y kind of color. 
Oh, is it color wired? So I don't know what this one is. You probably have to check it out. It's pretty simple though. Um, so this one again looks so pretty. It looks like it's gonna be pretty opaque. Um, I could be wrong, but yeah. Turn on the gym room bag. And then I got a bracelet. So cute. I got it from a little boutique. So you guys aren't gonna be able to get it, but it's adorable. Um it was originally $21.95, but I got it for ten dollars. Eleven dollars, that's it. And it looks like this, and it's just like a little charm bracelet. It opens and closes like this. You know that. And it just has like a star, a little diamond in it, and then a little heart that says beauty, and then um, like a ribbon, and then another heart that says hope. It always alternates, like, and then there's a heart here, and then a heart that says love. So as you can tell, it's just kind of like a pattern of stuff. It's like a little dove, and then it says peace. A little music note, and it says joy. And it is so cute. I cannot wait to wear this. I want to wear Monday. And this is eleven eighty actually. So this is amazing. I really liked this. And then my bathing suit. I was so excited about. I got it from Hollister. I was looking at Victoria's Secret stuff, but I found this, and I was like, I need to get it. So it's like, it's. It says it's um, a bandeau, but it doesn't look like a bandeau to me. Because the bandeau has no straps, it's the straps. But anyway, it's like this. So, like, I guess if it didn't have these straps, it would be bandeau, but it, like, goes like that. And it has padding in it, and I always need padding. And, uh, and then there's, like, a little heart in it, and it's pink, and it's so cute. And then there's these little straps that come off. And what I really like is it just like swoops over like this. So it's not like, so you're not going to get some really weird tan with it. And I love it. I got a medium. And this is $29.50. Super gorgeous. And then for the bottom, I just got, I got this online too. And then for the bottom, I just got plain pink. Adorable, and I think these I got a medium also, and these were $24.50. So I'm super excited to wear these. I've been to Florida a lot this summer, so I'm really excited. And then last but not least, oh, and I got money. I got like $100 or something. Anyways, so I got this bag, and it says J'adore Paris, something like that. And last year I got one of these. This is from 182. Um, my aunt there. And last year, I got one, and it said, um, peace, love, shopping. And my aunt, she just got flip-flops. I have two pairs with me here, but she also got me, um, a metallic kind of gold and a black. And then she also got me these really cute, like, mint, not mint, but, like, grainy slash mint. And then some really hot pink, adorable ones. And I wear a size 8, but these run a little bit smaller. Because normally I'm a seven, so make sure that you get um, ones a little bit bigger for you. So I hope you guys like this. I know it's super long, but now I'm gonna do a tutorial for um, spray. So I hope you guys watch that too, and I hope you guys don't mind that this is a super long video. So see you later. Bye.